Welcome to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. As America's top lifestyle expert, I have spent my whole life creating a casual luxury brand that is dedicated to helping others get inspired with their own homes. By simply applying my six design principles, I will be turning this New England home into a casual luxury haven. And although I have worked on many home makeover projects, this year-long project is the biggest. It's from top to bottom, inside and out. And yes, it even includes the kitchen sink. So join me on this exciting journey. Each episode shows you how I use my casual luxury principles to transform this house. Green Isle for the O.K. family. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Jennings and welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. We have done a lot of work at Green Isle and we're not done yet as now we're going to focus on the family room and the new living room. We're also going to take a trip down memory lane to look at the history of Green Isle. Here's how this episode really happened. Hey, Mar. Yeah. Mar, are you down there? Yes. Can you come up a second? Okay. Just give me a minute. The best part about working at Green Isle and working with O'Kane family is that along the way, not only do you get a sense of what their family is like and how they live in their spaces, but you also discover and get a real snapshot of their personalities. Uh oh. Come What'd on. I do? Just grab a seat. I just want to have a couple oh. ideas. I know you're really busy. Grab a seat. Come on. Make yourself comfortable here. Take this to sweet. Cookies. <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> oh my uh. God. You're busy, Dad. Sorry, there. yes. A lot going on. A lot yeah, going on. Yeah. All right. I'd actually really like to incorporate some more work into the project that we're working on now. I would really love to incorporate the living room and family room into the renovation work that we're doing. <laughs> It's good news, right? Being busy is good. Oh my goodness. No, no. <laughs> Come on back. Come on back. Come on. You know, downstairs looks so fantastic. You've done such a fabulous job. It's brought the house to a whole nother level. But I'm not you done yet. Can. can you wait till I'm done? Well. Okay, how much time do I have? Six weeks, I was thinking. I'd love to be done, you know, in about that time frame. What do you think? Why don't we go into the rooms and you can Break it down for me. Okay, okay, let's go. Oh! All right, so the first time I went into the family room, I noticed there was a lot of stuff in that space. We're gonna need a bigger boat. The floors needed to be redone. The walls were cracking. The ceiling was cracking. The naughty pine was just dated. And there was way too much furniture in this space. The couch is really the most non-negotiable item I have. But Yvonne, that's the piece that looks the most dated. The sofa was a non-negotiable. And sometimes this happens in many rooms. You have a piece that you absolutely love and you have to work it into the space. It's, it's not impossible. I think the challenge here is to use what you love and just bring it to a new time and place. So there was work to be done. So this is the first time we're incorporating glamour into a space. I really need some glamour. You know, of some course you do. <laughs> I also felt that the living room should be elevated a little bit and made more of an adult area. So six weeks, two rooms, several non-negotiable items, and a reveal that's going to shock you and the family because you'll be surprised what I'm going to do in here. And I think I'm going to need to go shopping in your own house because I'm going to pull from some of the pieces that you might have in other rooms. Oh, please do, because I really love everything that we do have. <laughs> okay. Go to a PTA meeting. I'm going to go finish <laughs> my work. <laughs> So it's interesting, you can kind of see all the different colors that this room once was. We have this blue, we have a white, and then we have this very last color that was stenciled and designed with a interesting border. So this is the original. We pull away the layers, literally, and we see 
what the material is. And now we're going to restore it and bring it back to a very solid wall. Green Isle has multiple fireplaces and it seems like I'm forever dealing with a fireplace on this project. So let's review. First, I relocated the outdoor fireplace from the pergola area to the rooftop deck. Okay, no problem. When it came to the meeting room, there was a fireplace there that was a faux fireplace. So I took that one down. But then I go into the living room and I notice another fireplace challenge. Everyone's always around because it seems that I'm always taking down a fireplace. And I'm gonna do just that. This facade is being removed. I wanted to address the living room as being a formal space that you can receive guests. And the best way to do that is to have a major focal point. So guess what? That fireplace needed a complete overhaul. Oh my God, wait, wait, wait. Coming up. Come on down, I have something to show you. What are the chances of that? As America's top lifestyle expert, it's very difficult sometimes to find people that are on the same standards that you expect. Tiffin Toller was able to execute my project as well as my client's project to a degree that surpassed not only my expectations, but my clients as well. Ross is extremely knowledgeable, dedicated, and just very easy to work with, and it's made the whole process fantastic. Hi, I'm Ross from Tiffin Toller. We specialize in high-end construction. Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. Yvonne has surprised me yet again. She's asking to renovate the family room and the living room now. So after our success on the outdoor spaces, we're back inside working on the main floor. There is a lot of work going on in the living room. We're dressing the new coffered ceilings. The walls are being redone. The floor is going to be addressed. So I thought I would lend a hand and take down the fireplace mantle. And it was, it was impossible, just like all the other fireplace mantles that I take down. So I'm struggling with it and I'm pulling it off the wall and it's not very cooperative. And then to my surprise, something pops out. Oh my God, wait, wait, wait. We found a time capsule. Tucked away in the fireplace. Dear friend, we are pleased to acknowledge receipt of your world list today. I have to show this to Avon. I found a little time capsule behind your fireplace. No way, let's see. Look at that. Look at that very handsome guy, yeah. two lovely ladies. No names. Okay, so look at this from this dates back to 1926. They won a thousand dollars and there's a little receipt here as well. And this is from 1951. You know, what's my favorite number? 22. Two? A little card. There you, go. you love cards. I, do. I love to play cards. Look at that. Fate would have it because a couple of months earlier, when we were renovating the media room, I had the O'Kane family create their own time capsule. Now we tucked it away right above the sliders that lead out to the new pergola area. Now, wouldn't it be fantastic that perhaps maybe a hundred years from now, someone would discover our time capsule? Not long ago, I removed the mantle, and now the new mantle has finally arrived, and it is a very gracious, oversized mantle, which this room can totally handle. So we're going to work around it to complement it with all the furnishings that we select. We're adding some light sconces as well, and some marbles coming in. It's called a king marble. It's very white and very clean, no veins, because we wanted to make this entire palette here very crisp. We're going to paint it high gloss white and when it's all said and done, this will be magical in this living room. For the non-negotiable sofa, I couldn't change the body shape, but I could modernize the cushion style. And I had an idea up my sleeves, so my buddies from Artistic Upholstery are bringing it to life. Meanwhile, I took an opportunity to spend some time with others in the design community. 
Inspiration comes in a variety of different ways. For me, Roseburg Gardens is my platform for inspiration. But sometimes I also love to venture out as well to get inspired by other designers. So I went to visit the Junior League of Hartford Designer Showhouse to see how they used an old house in a brand new way. Wow, this is so impressive. I'm in for a real treat, I can tell. Here we enter our grand foyer, cathedral ceiling. This is the existing architecture with plaster walls and all. Now, what a great way to receive your guests to come in and to have this beautiful little area to sit in, right? Absolutely. This is the mother of all oh, fireplaces. Absolutely. That's incredible. One of the very early on things that I was talking about when we were designing Green Isle was to build the fireplace mantle and make it more generous and grand. And then I come here and I see this huge fireplace. How did you come up with the color palette and your theme that would be cohesive with the adjacent rooms. The architecture of this house is is very strong, so it really, for me, needed to be traditional. Um, because of the time of the year, we wanted to do bright spring colors. My personal style is I like to incorporate antiques and traditional furniture, but upholster them in a more modern way. So the inspiration for me, and I go back to Green Isle with a validation of these strong colors and these different fabrics and textures and how they all work so beautifully together in that layered effect, and of course, where have you heard that before? My repeat shapes and patterns is clearly uh, done here too. Yes. This is Asian inspired with our T-bow wallpaper and fabrics. It is a great way how you take a bold accent wall, because this is really what this wall is, and you've complemented it with three other walls. It's hard for people to envision until they <laughs> see it done. The four takeaways that I think are part of this bathroom is that I had two elements that I really had to work with, and they're yellow and green, green. which isn't a trend color scheme right now. No. So I chose to just focus on one of those colors, the green, and play up the teal part of it, and then really work with a bold wallpaper to enhance everything. Green Isle may be a bigger renovation project, but the Junior League of Hartford's Designer Showhouse inspired me with its beautiful rooms. It certainly validated my casual luxury design principles and helped me stay on track for the choices needed for the family room and the living room. So I get a phone call at the studio telling me that the fireplace stone has arrived. However, it was cut to the wrong size. So, of course, I'm doing damage control. Coming up, it's an estimate. This is not what you want. We're just delayed. Hi, everyone. I'm lifestyle expert Mar Jennings. I'm the author of Life on Mars, Creating Casual Luxury. I'm inviting you all inside my Westport, Connecticut home to explore my six casual luxury design principles. And it's full of practical tips that you can apply in any space. It's casual luxury made simple and smart. It's like an entire season of a home makeover show in one book. Order your copy now. Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. We're renovating the O'Kane's family room and living room to turn up the comfort and the glamour in these two rooms. But I had some added inspiration from a designer show house. And just when I think everything is going perfectly, guess what? There's a big setback. So I get a phone call at the studio telling me that the fireplace stone has arrived. However, it was cut to the wrong size. So, of course, I'm doing damage control. Okay, what's the problem? The marble has been miscut. We measured once, we measured twice, and it arrives and it's wrong. Is this yeah. typical? No. Uh, I think what may have happened in the shop is they pulled up the estimating sheet for pricing and cut to those measurements, did not cut from the shop drawings. But why wasn't he given this piece of paper here? He do not have it, I think. They have a different which way. What's the point of coming out and measuring things if you're not going to even give it to the guy? Yeah. It That's just true. happens to be an inch or two from yeah. what we really need. Which is why we do shop measurements at the at the end and do shop drawings so that we get the exact measurement. Right. It'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Breathe deep. <laughs> Breathe deeply. This is why it pays to have a top-notch contractor like Tiefenthaler. Thanks to Ross, he was able to turn it around in just one day. The original wood paneling needed some work. So I thought that the best way to use the existing paneling was to paint it, but to paint it a very dramatic color that can complement our new wallpaper that we're going to add as well. And yes, wallpaper is back in a big way. So one of my core principles is to use natural materials and colors. So the wallpaper is a seagrass. So I took that lead of following my design principles to find a color that resonates and would become our jumping off point when it came to the family room. Now in Westport, we have PPG decorating centers and there they have such a fantastic selection. I'm applying the seagrass wallpaper, but before you apply seagrass or any type of wallpaper, there's things to know. And this guy, the professional, Bruce, is gonna help us understand that. So Bruce, when it comes to applying wallpaper, we need to know that we need to prepare the walls a certain way. Yes, that's the most important thing is to prepare the walls for the wall covering, which means compound all the dents and, and all the cracks that you have to do, smooth it out nicely, Put a nice primer on here, oil-based primer made for pre-wall coverings so you can wall cover over the top of it and then you're ready to go. When dealing with an old house, you can only hope that you find a glimpse of the past. When I pulled away the mantle, it did just that. It opened a window to the past history of Green Isle. And of course, I wanted to find out more. So I engaged the help of the Westport Historical Society and took Avon for a nice little afternoon adventure. These were the three things that we found when I was disassembling the fireplace. It's almost like they came out to speak to me. We have a word for that in genealogical circles. We call that serendipitous. Serendipitous. I like that word. I love that word. We first find him in 1948, and he was actually an important person of the door company. He was an engineer. Wow. Do you realize uh, that the road in front of you there, that's the road that George Washington and Benjamin Franklin, who set the Franklin stones in place. What an experience. Good seeing you again. Good seeing you. Thank you so much. The family room and the living room are coming together just in time. Talk about cutting it close. The last bit of wallpaper is just about finished as the new furnishings are arriving. All right, so I only have two days left to get the living room and the family room ready for the O'Kane family. And boy, am I running late. Coming up, you ready to see your new family room? One, two, three. Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. We're almost ready to reveal the O'Kane's new family and living room. After great inspiration and discovering some unexpected history about the house, the countdown is on. All right, so I only have two days left to get the living room and the family room ready for the O'Kane family. And boy, am I running late. Green Isle is a full-time job, but every once in a while I try to sneak in a little catnap. And when I do, I have such wonderful dreams. The next day, I hit the ground running. My casual luxury design principles are my recipe for each room. They allow me to be flexible in what I spend on decor. I can mix high and low end items together because my principles assure a cohesive outcome. I call this the magic of the mix.
So I'm almost out of time. I'm definitely out of money, but I need one more thing. So I figured I'd head into the storage area to see what I can find. And I want you to know that I am responsible for this mess because there's nowhere else to put things. So I've been piling it up in here. Maybe I can find some art. I need something. Ah! Bingo. I think I found it. Everyone in the family gets their chance to be the first to see a room. This time, it was Teddy's turn. On the count of three, you ready to see your new family room? One, two, three! It's beautiful. It's more than I could have ever expected. Six weeks, I can't put, I'm, I'm awestruck. <laughs> Can you believe it? I love the same couch. You recognize it, right? Yeah, it's the same. Well, you told me I had to keep it. I had a lot of inspiration here, and clearly I had a lot of do's and don'ts. Show me this. Look at what this. What is this? All right, so if you remember, I took down a fireplace, and I removed one from your media room. Okay, and it was a faux fireplace. So I felt obligated to give you back another fireplace. So I gave you this faux fireplace, but it's dual purpose because it also houses a lot of your equipment as well. So you have storage and you have a decorative detail. It's beautiful. And here is your formal living room. <laughs> oh, is it really Speechless. the same room? Look at my old mirror. Your old you mirror, you noticed it. Oh, I love that mirror. You were, you were either I going to love that. it or hate it. Beautiful. And look, we even have our historic piece, There's right? the look photo at that. that I found when I was pulling off your mantle. So how did I do for six weeks? Mar, the room is beautiful. It's exactly what I would have envisioned it. Elegant, glamorous, comfortable. It's beautiful. If I could have done it myself, this is what I would have hoped to have done. It's formal, but it's still casual. That's the idea. That's casual luxury. All right, right here, right here. That's the way to go. OK, I guess they're off to enjoy their new family room. And there you have it. But we're not done yet. There's still plenty of work to do here at Green Isle. We have the outdoor landscaping, the master bedroom, the master bath, the two kids' bathroom, and of course, the kitchen renovation. Now that's a big job. Remember that casual luxury works in any size room for any personal style, and it has absolutely no boundaries. For more great home and garden and lifestyle tips, make sure you head over to my website, marjennings.com. Until then, keep it casual.